It was just before Christmas, and all round the day, the townsfolk weren't smiling, they weren't filled with glee, as news was fast spreading to these people most hearty, that Bethel Hall cancelled this year's Christmas party. That's simply not true, a party was planned, it's just that this year the adults were banned. The boys and the girls would enjoy Christmas fair, with no adults around the kids wouldn't care. While children and adults were snug in their bed, St Nick had a thought stir up in his head. Under cover of darkness he dispatched empty shelves to gather supplies and raid all the shelves. The elves drove down Northfield, all going full tilt, arriving at Bethel, most masked to the hilt. An unmasked elf opened the door with a clatter, but he was exempt so that didn't matter. One of these elves, I think he's called Johnny, said come over here and listen up Sonny. There's lots of nice food supplied by the elves, but each of these boxes, they won't fill themselves. And just when we thought we could fill them no more, Brian, the head elf, burst through the door with armfuls of boxes, inside chocolate bars, all made by Cadbury, so it did not contain Mars. With all the food sorted, they turned to decor, and the elves started hanging lights around the door. But as daylight approached, they started to fear, would there be room for Santa's John Deere? And then, just in time, who should arrive? Parking his sleigh in Bethel Hall's drive, at this time of year he's a hard man to reach and he jumped on the platform but no, didn't preach. Then in came the children and we could begin. The party would start with some carols to sing and then to a quiz which we based upon a video clip of a great Christmas song. We challenged the kids to see were they able to build us a lovely nativity stable made of marshmallows and dried up spaghetti. Most of the buildings collapsed like confetti. But one or two structures are worthy of note, including young Cooper's, well he's such a dote. It would take us too long to mention the rest, except Davy Steele's, his was the best. The youngest kids too had a wonderful time. I must get a mention as part of this rhyme. June had them colour a nativity scene, and they were the best you ever have seen. Our special guest Ivan and his monkey Benson brought to the kids a nativity lesson. Ivan was great and Benson so clever, presenting the story of the best present ever. The elves were each scolded and Saint Nick was vexed, as we have no photos of what happened next. So here's a short clip and we're going to suppose you can guess how the party came to a close. Your attention please, are there any Bethel Hall passengers in need of any refreshments? I thought so.
So to each of the adults of our little town, we hope you'll no longer be wearing a frown. The fun that was had at this special event was enjoyed by each child. You can see what it meant. And you're not forgotten. We've plans underway to welcome the town to come out and play. When the weather is warmer, at Easter we might send to each family a special invite. But for now, we just want to thank one and all for sending your kids down to Bethel Hall. We exclaim with Saint Nick, ere he drives out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs>